Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we got this uh, semicircle with a center O along with these uh, chords uh, C, M, N, B, N. As you can see in this uh, diagram, and as a result, we get this uh, blue shaded region. And moreover, these uh, arc uh, lengths uh, are equally divided into six uh, parts, as you can see. And furthermore, the diameter uh, AP of this uh, semicircle is uh, 6 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the diameter of this uh, semicircle is uh, 6 uh, units. So therefore, the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is going to be half of that one. That is going to be 3 on this side and 3 on this side uh, as well. So therefore, the radius uh, of this semicircle turns out to be 3 units. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue shaded region in this uh, whole uh, semicircle, to make our job uh, simple, let's go ahead and focus only on this uh, left hand side uh, quarter circle. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, left hand side uh, blue shaded region first. Once we have calculated uh, this uh, area, we can just simply multiply it uh, by 2 to get the area of this whole uh, semicircle. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, quarter circle, which has this angle 90 degrees. And moreover, these uh, three arc lengths uh, AB, BC, and CD are equal. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this uh, center row with these points uh, B and uh, C. So therefore, all these uh, three angles uh, are going to be 30 degrees uh, each since we are dealing with these uh, equal uh, arc uh, lengths and moreover this uh, OB and OC are the radii of this uh, quarter circle and we know the radius uh, is 3 so therefore OB is going to be 3 and likewise OC is going to be 3 units as well and moreover, these angles are going to be 90 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle OBF. We can see that this whole angle is 30 plus 30 is going to make uh, 60 degrees. And we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now let's focus on this other right triangle uh, O C E. We know this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangles O C E and the other right triangle O B F are congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem. Since uh, both of these uh, triangles are 30, 60, 90 triangles and this uh, is uh, the radius 3 units and this one uh, radius 3 units as well. And since uh, these uh, triangles are congruent, so their area is going to be same, that's going to be equal. In other words, uh, the area of this triangle OCE is going to be equal to the area of this triangle OBF. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, blue shaded region is going to be equal to the sector OBC area, this area, plus the triangle OCE area minus uh, the triangle OBF area, as you can see over here. Once again, uh, this is our sector OBC area. This is uh, our triangle uh, OCE area and this is uh, our triangle uh, OBF area. And now let's recall once again from the previous step uh, that uh, triangle OCE 
E area equal to the triangle OBF area. And if I move uh, this OBF area on the left hand side, as you can see in this uh, next step, I move this uh, OBF area on the left uh, hand side and we got zero on the right hand side. So therefore, in other words, uh, this triangle OCE area minus this triangle OBF area turns out to be equal to zero. And now let's focus once again on this uh, equation. Let's focus on these, this part only. The triangle OCE area minus uh, the triangle uh, OBF area. And we know this uh, part uh, is equal to zero. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this part uh, by simply zero. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, blue shaded region area is going to be only equal to sector OBC area since this whole uh, thing is zero. So therefore, now our only task is uh, to calculate the area of this sector OBC, this uh, sector. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi r square, where r is the radius. And in our case, our angle theta is uh, 30 degrees and our radius uh, r is uh, 3. So therefore, uh, we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Theta in our case is uh, 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi times uh, our radius is uh, 3 whole uh, square. And now we can see 30 degrees uh, divided by 360 degrees uh, reduces to 1 uh, divided by 12. So therefore, we are going to have 1 divided by 12 times 3 square is 9 times pi. And if we reduce the right hand side, that is going to give us 3 pi divided by 4 square units. So therefore, the area of this blue shaded region for this quarter circle turns out to be 3 pi divided by 4 square units. So therefore, the area for this uh, other part uh, is going to be 3 pi divided by 4 by the definition of symmetry. So therefore, the total blue shaded region area for this uh, whole uh, semicircle is going to be 2 times uh, 3 pi divided by 4 square units. And if we simplify the right hand side, this turns out to be 3 pi divided by 2 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, blue shaded region turned out to be 3 pi divided by 2 square units. And in terms of decimal, the area of this uh, blue shaded region is going to be approximately equal to 4.7124 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.